I try sketching, see what would happen. Nothing happens. He's too cool to get. <laughs> Realm's painting ability is not good enough to paint that awesome dragon. I think I actually try to sketch every single enemy here and see what would happen. Nothing, cool. nothing worthwhile ever happens. Dragon used puff. Oh, well, that's the end of Shadow. I feel nothing about it, though. I can just imagine this big, mighty dragon just sneezing so heavily and covering Shadow with so much mucus that he flies off. It's quite an awful image. Well, that's the, I think they're allergic to shurikens because he threw the shuriken at him and that's what got him to sneeze. Probably throw the him dragon himself. sneezing thing? That's why we need a 3D remake of this game. No, this game is why we need a 3D remake of this game. Oh god, ew. He just went inside the bowels of it. For... And he oh. skipped an item. <laughs> yep. Oh man, I don't even want to think about what, and... he, what was it like that's inside right, there. you get back there. The hole just puckered up and inside you went. Ugh. I have a habit of just this... going past the item and then remembering, wait, I missed an item, and then going back and getting it. Monster in the box! Gigantos. This guy is such a bitch. Yeah, he's not a very nice guy. No. He just karate chopped a bitch in the throat! <laughs> oh, did anyone see the new Dread movie? No, I haven't. That, that bring... Oh man, Judge Dredd karate chops this one guy so hard that his neck caves in. It's the most awesome thing ever. Bruce Lee already did that. I, I don't care. I haven't <laughs> seen that particular Bruce Lee movie yet. Oh, come on, Spoonie reviewed it. Oh, is it Wait, the... What? Is it the oh, that clones of Bruce gay, Lee? Yeah. That fake, awful Bruce Lee movie? No. Wait, go inside the sphincter. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking, that was the movie where they had, like, the five people, all of which who didn't look like Bruce Lee. Clones of Bruce Lee! Clones of Bruce yeah. Lee! Oh, uh, well, I guess we're not very good at syncing. Bruce Lee. Nope. Oh, well. I think it has well, to do something we don't use SyncTube anymore. <laughs> it has to do something no. with the lag. Yeah, whatever. We're fighting ninjas now, who are not the clones of Bruce Lee. So. But they could be. That would explain why there's so many of them. Hmm. Yeah, I just walk home every day and I just see all these clones of Bruce Lee. It's hard, isn't it? Also, ninjas. You are... gotta kung, you gotta kung fu every single one of them to get back home. Sonic or else you gotta pay the, you gotta pay the Bruce Lee tax. I live a a very strenuous life. That's that's what happens if you live in New York City. <laughs> just all these Bruce yeah. Lee clones just come out of nowhere. Everywhere. <laughs> all right. Well, here in New Jersey, we gotta fight Jackie Chan clones, who aren't quite as difficult, but they are very tricksy. And they do their own stunts. <laughs> they just throw umbrellas in your face. It's like, damn it, I can't hit this guy. He's got an umbrella. Oh. <laughs> you, you know the... They picked, <laughs> they picked up a ladder. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Shit. The, the punishment of letting them live, though, is that they're later in life, they start doing strange family comedies. And, and no one wants to see that. They start, they start teaming up with Chris Tucker. <laughs> no. God, no. We don't want to see something like that. Forget Kefka, the true enemy is Chris Tucker. If no phone there was any good at video software, then I would just edit in Chris Tucker instead of, <laughs> instead of Kefka for the I'll rest of the series. <laughs> All of a sudden, Ruby Road from uh, The Fifth Element just pops in. Oh, man. That, that'd be too much. None of us are ready for that. I did a f uh, really, really bad fanfic one time where I just did the fifth element but with Yu-Gi-Oh characters. Pegasus was Chris Tucker. <laughs> oh god, it was atrocious. <laughs> oh man. That really god. sounds like the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. These, these enemies I with did these a lot of huge... shitty fix. <laughs> these there. enemies with these huge spines and stuff and bones everywhere. That might be creepy for some people, but no, Chris Tucker is far worse. I'm just an kind of look like Lord Zed. I'm just imagining that Chris Tucker Wait, is Lord... in... Oh, Power Rangers. He's... Chris Tucker is just in the middle of like those like those ribs open up and his face is right in the middle of there. <laughs> Chris Tucker's watching us from the piles of goo in the background. This Cthuloid mash of horrible monsters and Chris Tucker, the most heinous of them all. You see, and then we have to climb inside the shrinker of it all. You know, it's a good thing We're that, there. that 
Like, if the statues mm. are moved out of alignment, it's not the goddess, it's not the world is destroyed. Chris Tucker arrives. And <laughs> no, 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 inside the sphincter, when you go down, it's just a hole full of Chris Tucker hands reaching to grab you. They want you. Grab you and join the chorus of Chris grabbed. Tucker. Oh, man. And they're just repeating the same one liners over and over again. This is the worst recording we've ever done. You gotta stop talking about Chris Tucker. Why? It's giving us so much material. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the children, Drake EC. Think oh, of the fuck children. The children. No, don't fuck the children. No, 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 you sicko. Allegedly. Chris Tucker does not actually fuck children. The lawyers do not bother with us. That was a joke. But he, he does not fuck children. As far as we know. <laughs> More Buddha heads. I, I, now I can just smile it because they like our Chris Tucker jokes. Yeah, they're they're laughing. The thing is, is now the only thing I can think of is now that every single enemy in this whoa, game is whoa, Chris whoa, Tucker. Whoa, 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 whoa! Buddha head just proposed to Tara and she accepted. The, She's glowing the pink for glow. love. The price of temptation she, she, is great. She's just that badly aroused <laughs> that she turned pink. And. <laughs> oh. Things are done. Okay, it's <laughs> first random encounter. This boy is fueled like fire. So start melting, ladies, because the boy is hotter than hot. He's hot, hot, hot. Yeah, Chris Tucker, get your hands off me! <laughs> no, the horror! It's too much. You can just hear the screams, the tortured oh, screams. Oh yeah, you gotta build the continent like while you stand on things. It's it's like there's a DNC fight skate, Chris Tucker versus Kefka. <laughs> Which is more Kefka's evil? Gonna win that one. Who's more creepy? Oh more e more creepy? Chris Tucker has that one. All the way. <laughs> I don't know, you, have, you haven't played the City of 12, Blue, you don't know some of Kefka's dialogue towards Taylor. Is Chris Tucker in the City of 12? No, they're not, devs aren't that cruel. <laughs> I think they are. They just couldn't get the license then. No, they go worse, like Caius. Oh no, we meant, no, the forbidden game! No, we don't, we don't mention that game. No, none of that. And By the way, this game. area is really, really awesome. The floating continent? It's like the... Yeah, it's like the last boss of Earthbound. Is that the Except one? Except an entire level. It's, it's like in the... Isn't the last dungeon of Earthbound like the one in the stomach or something? Yeah, you fight like a giant fetus. That's the last boss. Cronenberg would be happy. This, I think there's some sort of metaphor going on there, but I'm too disturbed to think about it. That's how Cronenberg is. Just like a space odyssey. Yeah. This area, guest directed by David Cronenberg. I'm just now. Now I'm just thinking about 2001: A Space Odyssey. That's <laughs> we can sing the song that the. Yeah, we see the inside of this sphincter. Yeah, no Chris Tucker's in here. Interesting. You can see. I guess we're just the real freaks for even thinking of that. We're you... not here. Until, they're not here until we sleep. That's when they come out. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. <laughs> Sometimes they're night beasts, but other times they stalk the daytime. They wearing dresses. The horror. Oh, God. The horror. No, oh, found a beret. Stylish. Chris Tucker's beret. No, not Chris Tucker's. It's just a regular beret. Steve, can you do a beret? <laughs> I'm actually wearing a beret right now. Really? Really? Oh, that, I, I admire that. I don't think I could do a beret. I, think I mean, I'd, I'd actually have to be Rambo to wear one. I think the only person going to wear a beret is Jamie Hein... Heine, Heine, whatever his last Heine name is. Heine I can't pronounce his last name, but from Mythbusters. Heineman. Heineman. No idea what that was. Wait, you just did that. Yeah, it, it makes me do it you again. You made that sphincter before. But... Alright, whatever. It's a chaos sphincter. Yeah, it puckers in and out. Never know where it might appear. Until you step on that turd on the ground. No, we do not want to go back inside the airship. We're fine. If this is actually a trap, I think. Why would you ever... 
Uh, maybe you're feeling really weak and you don't want to do it. It sounds just generally a bad idea. Oh, here's our good friend. Um, Wait, is this is this the best part of the whole game right here? If you're talking about Ultras, no. That's oh Ultras. yes, it is. <laughs> Ultima weapon. I am pure energy, and as ancient as the cosmos, feeble creatures go. We don't oh say man, I love this guy. <laughs> He's just some random elder god who just happens to be here for some reason. And he's just hanging here. around to challenge people. That's what's great about this game, just randomly there'll be all these unbelievable horrors from beyond just popping out to attack you. Thankfully Chris Tucker's not one of them. No. <laughs> Please, that for the can we be more mature? Not everything is about Chris Tucker class. Oh, quiet. Yay, more Esperter! This battle's actually really difficult. As if you can tell by the Supercharged battle music in the background. Yeah. That's why this is the best part of the game. This song is incredible. Best part of the after years, his PSP sprite. That looks so awesome. Did they update it at all? Oh, yeah. Right. Well, I figured they just reused everything because that was the point of that game. In the original Make version, Final they reused it, but then in the, the PSP cheap. version, they updated it. Yeah, and he looks badass as all hell. He looks badass as all hell right now. This is just incredible, everything about this. You want to know why Final Fantasy VI is a great RPG? This right here. I don't I don't need to bring anything else. You don't even need to watch the rest of the game. This is one part. Done. Discussion over. Just watch this five minutes. Yeah. More specifically, just watch the parts with me and Blue Highwing. <laughs> you don't need to watch the rest of yourself. Either. At this Those point, that's about half of it, or more. Um, really? I'm thinking of the episodes of Out Either View, and I can only think of... Two. Well, those are the well, ones where the, people why actually the best like. Pods? Why would you want not want us? Those are the parts where people actually like intelligently discuss things. When we're around, everyone talks about Chris Tucker. <laughs> Even when I try funny. my best to be like, you know, let me dis intelligently discuss the merits of this game. Nope, Chris Tucker. Nothing I can do about it. Or well, arguably, it's a merit to this game that he's not in it. Yeah, it is. It is a big merit. Certain other Final Fantasies actually do have Chris Tucker, which is a big problem. And you tried to fight him the, the proper way, huh? What? What's the improper way? Wall rings or something? Uh, the MP. Oh. Oh, you drain him and then he dies? Yeah. Does, how much MP does he have? Like, less? Yeah, 5,000. Oh, uh, really? It goes by... Yeah. By the way, Atma is so epic that he doesn't die normally, he needs this slow-burning explosion. He just takes his time. He's as ancient Only as the cosmos. He is. But he'll be back in Kefka's tower. Yep. For some reason. Yeah. For some reason I thought he said, I am eternal. I oh, whoa, there he goes. Damn, Shadow, what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, dudes, but that weapon was too tough. You guys are on your own now. I've sold my soul to the Empire, bye. And this is the climax of the game. I guess... More or less. Well, it's a climax of the first half. Hey, Celeste is here. Hello. Hi, Celeste. <laughs> Good thing Shadow left, right? I mean... Yeah. I've always <laughs> wondered what would happen if you brought Celeste in your three-person party. Then I you just... never tried it, because then I know the game would just put me through the next section with just three people. It does do that. Uh, I did that I did that the first time I played, because I, I didn't know. I always had Setzer here, because Setzer's awesome. Setzer is awesome. He will I be got goosebumps. What power? S sets a whoa! The shinies attack. Ooh. Boom! Moogle, I don't care. Shiny punch. No, the mascots. Think of the mascots. Oh, so no, that's a smart when she hit on the side of the hill. Come to me, my pretty. <laughs> yeah, yes, Joel. Yeah, that's bad dialogue right there. Final really Fantasy have... VI, Tim Why Curry is, he... is Gestal. He talks like an evil stepmother. Come on, he should be poised. He's an emperor. Then again, he has been hanging out with Kefka for a while. It must rub yeah. off. Yeah. <clears throat> hanging out with Kefka will make anyone a little weird. That's how I got weird. I just explains a lot. It I, does. I really wish, like in... um. Dragon Quest, the first Dragon Quest, you could just say, like, yes, no, to, like, join me. 
join me. No, what would happen is that they would just be like, you said yes, no, that's not the answer we're looking for, you dumbass. The plot requires you to say no. Oh, she just stabbed him. Damn. Wait, here go. There's a very great line coming This out. is the best line in the entire game. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> what a shock, it's from Kefka. Ouch is the best line. Yep, ouch. Arg. I, I think it's more pronounced. Hate, 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 hate you! The, the best thing about that is that you didn't have nearly enough hates. No, I didn't. There's not enough time. You could just fill the. I can't the believe they took that out of the advanced release. Yeah, they also cut out my voice acting a second. Just a sec, guys. The Super Nintendo sound chip was just not good enough for. <laughs> So By the way, considering how loud I yelled, I hope no one like knocks on my door wondering what's going on.